We are joined by the president of the largest nonprofit women's association on the island, Judith Tyler of the Women's Association of Hilton Head. Judith, welcome in. Give us a short little history lesson on how this group got started. Thank you so mu much, Bob, for having sure. me. In 1960, we call this the idea on the porch. <laughs> Nancy McBride's house on Wood Ibis Road, seven women gathered together to sip some iced tea and they decided that it would be a good idea to clean up Caligny Plaza, which was much larger at this time, overgrown with brush. And in January of 61, they formed an organization with 23 women called the Hilton Head Gardens Club. Okay. And they went out and cleaned up the area, planted 100 azaleas, and decided that their mission would be to preserve and protect the nat natural mm -hmm. uh, birds and plants and trees in the area. It's, and, been, and it's become so much more than a garden club since then, though, I know. This is Women's History Month in March. Remind us of some of the incredible historical contributions women in your group have played in, the role, in their, uh, their roles in the development of the island. In 1965, we, became, we changed our name. It's our year of transition. And we started some interest groups at that time. Uh, one of them was a welcoming group that welcomed all new people on the island, and it was sort of like a welcome wagon. Then we had um, people in the area really missed the news. Mm -hmm. The only place where they received the news was on a bulletin board on the Buford Bank building at Kalisny Plaza. Mm -hmm. And so we started a reporters group that uh, let put out information every week on what was going on in the area, sold subscriptions, and that cost $3.50 a year. Mm -hmm. uh, when the Island Packet came to town in 1970, they bought our subscription list, hired our president to write sand dollars, and she wrote that for 20 years. Another thing that we did was that we formed um, an interest group called uh, Genealogy, Finding Your Family Tree. And that group lasted with a women's organization for about 11 years. And I'm told that it sort of spun off because there were so many husbands that wanted to be involved <laughs> in this program. And it was a women's organization. Right. So they spun off, and that's the roots of the Heritage Library. OK. All right. Uh, the, the Women's Association Youth Awards are coming up. They recognize outstanding local graduating seniors. They will be announced next week, and I can't wait to hear because uh, I know you guys are involved so much with uh, uh, the, the great kids that this island produces. Thank you so much, Judith Tyler of the Women's Association of Hilton Head, for joining us. Thank you.